Hey everyone, Mark here. Um, just showing my end-to-end -end, um, co-pilot feedback analytics and governance. Um, it is basically taking all of co-pilot's feedback and giving great analytics and um, oversight and insight and um, everything that you need to know about what users are liking, disliking, their comments that are being left behind. Um, I can walk you through some of this here. Um, I have a SharePoint page here that I'm embedding most of this stuff on to just have a quick snapshot of everything. Here is the list that all of the likes and dislikes um, from my co-pilot here and feedback are getting captured and basically sent into this SharePoint list. Um, I am parsing JSON and doing some things, but I am grabbing <clears throat> the user's original message, copilot's response, uh, the like or the dislike reaction, uh, the user's comment that was left behind, and then I have some additional fields for administration purposes like resolution notes, um, who it might be assigned to, and then I also included these additional columns for um, is accurate and I'm sorry, is is inaccurate or is outdated. And basically these are just um, flagging comments that are left behind by the user saying if the content or the resources um, returned by Copilot and its response were outdated or um, not accurate. Um, so we can go ahead. I have the ones that are inaccurate or outdated um, formatted uh, in SharePoint here for this list, but we'll open this one. I um, basically created a custom power app to display these, um, just displaying all these fields nicely along with the copilot's response, um, the like or dislike. Um, here's the field for is it outdated, it is set to yes, and therefore this button will now appear um, to send a notification but some actions need to take place before you do that. So say you're an admin here and you need to send it to the business now to um, update this information because the user has reported it um, and you need to keep Copilot updated, you would just edit. And from here, I have an AI prompt that is basically going to generate a proposed resolution to the user's issue <coughs> and the reason for the dislike. Um, which we'll generate here. Um, this is just a proposed um, AI solution. Um, it's not set in stone. Um, and then I have an option here to basically go ahead and push it into our resolution notes here. And from here, you can go ahead and make your modifications if you want to include things or um, remove things. Um, and now say you want to go ahead and send this on to the business to go ahead and analyze or update um, or even remove. Um, you can go ahead in here and assign it to someone. I'll assign it to myself for now. Um, this button is now clickable uh, to send a notification. So we're gonna go ahead and send this notification. So that notification has been sent. And we can go ahead and save this because that is now marked complete. And if we go to Outlook here, um, we should soon see a message come through. There it is. Um, this is basically just um, a notification to the user that you identified and assigned that that um, feedback to um, going over all the details and um, wanting them to take action. It's just very cool. You can also um, extend this and build in, um, you know, based on the status, you can have the, re the users come back in here and um, report uh, additional notes or um, update the status. Um, there's also some automation that can be involved there. Um, and then here's another cool piece for some additional AI feedback here. I have a power app that is basically a gallery of all of my feedback in this list 
and it's basically just taking um, most of the content and it is doing things for me that I would like for it to do, such as generating um, an FAQ. So based on all these inputs, such as uh, the user's message, Copilot's response, um, the user's comment left behind, um, I'm going to go ahead and generate an FAQ that might um, assist us with um, making Copilot better. Either we can include these FAQs into Copilot's source or knowledge directly, or we can just take them one for one and go ahead and um, use them to help guide the users um, based on their FAQs. Uh, another option I have here is trends. AI generated trends that can help us improve our copilot experience for the users. Um, here are some uh, desire for cleaner, more engaging communication, uh, the need for detailed and specific information, concerns about information accuracy, and um, if it's current, um, and then a summary of. Um, maybe some steps that you can take to go ahead and um, increase adoption, usability, um, make things better. Um, this Copilot uh, enhanced feedback tool is pretty great. Um, it's an ongoing thing that you can use as continuous improvement to help make your Copilot better. Um, another little enhancement that I added on top of this is if you, this power app is embedded. So if you open it into a full browser version, I went ahead and added a copilot onto this as well. So from here, the data source for this copilot is basically the data source for this app. So you can go ahead and start asking questions directly against um, any of these responses. Um, a very cool end-to-end -end full experience copilot feedback um, enriched enhanced uh, continuous improvement